Hello everyone! <laughs> Today uh, we will make a heart and our topic is uh, about love. God loves us through Jesus Christ and we need a uh, square white paper and what we will need, need to do? Abby? Fold. Yeah, we will fold just like here. Fold and we will draw here half heart I will show you it's more easy yeah this is half heart and I will show and then Abby will cut and we are cutting yeah see it's hard yeah and we will we will color if you want you can color with watercolor or you can color with uh, any colors yeah you can use anything Jacob, can you color this one okay Abby, you now you can uh, start you you need to fold everywhere okay yeah it's ready so simple uh, easy no. and two half and half and then can you cut yeah Fico, can i help you yes yeah you do do i will help you yes our heart is ready it's dried you can see and i wrote Jesus, you can write God or Holy Spirit, whatever you want, which one you want. Yeah, and I will write on with black. And we will make a hole with this tool. I mean, you need to press. Yeah, press. Well done. No need to one time enough we made two hole yeah and then you can do all until ferret finish you can make hole yeah. e. Yes, e. now a bit can you make hole i will write them you need to make sure it's inside yeah well done, we all make all and just, yeah, this one, I will make Fill out the lid, please Yes, and we need ribbon Oh, what's that? Yeah, we will make What is ribbon? Now, Fickle, can you put We'll kiss it, Fickle Okay, yeah. I put it And you can hang out uh, your wall or your room where you want. Yeah, this is our craft, Jesus. And you can make Holy Spirit, God, and even you can write uh, in like your scripture, memory, memory verse, whatever you want. This is our craft. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Hello, Rooted. Thank you for coming back. Let's pray first. Heavenly Father, thank you for showing your amazing love by sending your only son, Jesus. When even we were running away from you, you never stopped loving us and generously forgave our sins through Jesus Christ. Thank you for showing us the best example of the act of love. Let us learn true love from your example and let us spread your love to other people around us. 
In Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. Last week, we learned that God created this world out of nothing. God created everything for us because He loves us. God is love and all who live in love live in God and God lives in them. 1 John 4, 16. That's what we learned last week. God loves us so much. Thank you, Father, for loving us. Then, do we just take granted for His amazing love? No. God wants us to love others as God loves us. He wants us to learn how to love others from His example. Today, we will learn how to share this amazing love which we have received from God to others. Then, we have to know what true love is. I love pizza, I love my teddy bear, I love toys, I love my smartphone. We overuse the word love. But Paul described love differently. He didn't say that love is something we feel. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 7 says, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. In this verse, Paul said, love is kind, love is patient. You can enjoy ice cream, but you can't be patient or kind toward ice cream. God's love is something we show people, not object or food. Paul wants us to see that true biblical love is all about serving, helping, forgiving, and sacrificing ourselves for others. Love is not about what we get, but what we give to others. Also, God compares the noise of a clanging gong or a cymbal to a person who does not love. Why? To know that reason, let's listen to the sound of cymbals. Okay, that's enough. It's not pretty, is it? It's rather annoying and noisy. If you play it at the wrong time, it just makes noise and ruins the song. However, when a gong or a cymbal is played at the right time in a song, it adds beauty to the music harmoniously. Let's see. It adds beauty to the music. Look at the pictures here. You can see two different situations about sharing toys. The boy shared his toy with his younger brother because mommy said so, even though he didn't want to share. He's not happy, right? In this case, do you think God would be happy to see this? God wouldn't be happy to see this because there was no love in his action. No love? Then it is the same as noisy symbol sound like that monkey made. On the other hand, this girl shared her toy to her sister willingly because she loves her sister. She cherishes her sister. In this case, God would smile happily watching this true act of love. Both the kids shared their toys, but one is the same as noisy cymbal sound, the other one is the same as beautiful music with a cymbal effect. 
Love in your action makes a big difference. Another example. You said, I forgive you to the friend who hurt you because your teacher told you to do that. Even though you said, I forgive you, but you didn't forgive your friend from the bottom of your heart. Is this true biblical love which God wants us to do? No, even though you did what is a so-called good deed. On the other hand, this boy forgave his friend with a merciful and genuine heart because he loves his friend. This boy knows that God said, love others and forgive others. Yes, this is the true biblical love of what God did to us. God loves us in this way. He gives us many blessings with a generous heart. Because He loves us, He forgives us with a merciful heart when we truly repent. Because God loves us. 1 John 4.10 says, This is real love. It is not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. God loved us so much that He sent His only Son to die on the cross for our sins. Jesus took our place and our punishment so we could be right with God. The best way for us to learn how to love one another is to look at the way God loved us. The best example of real love. Can you think of a way we can love others like God loved us? I know one way. We can forgive others when they sin against us. Because that is what God did for us. God forgave our sins. I know it is not always easy to forgive who hurts me mentally and physically. When it is not easy to forgive, please remember that God, gave up His only Son so that we could be forgiven. So kids, love and forgive. Memory verse for this week. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. 1 John 4, 11. Yes, we surely ought to love each other. And thank you for sending us your great craft the fruit of the spirit. Hannah, Uni, Ian, Iana, Irene, Timothy, Terry, Ezra, Ferret, Abigail. You've earned five shekels. Good job. Shekel activity. Choose one activity among three and send us a picture of it. Number one, love God and love others. Share the ideas how you can show your love to others. Number two, memorize your memory verse, ask your parents to check, and let us know. Number three, send us the picture of a seedling's craft, which you watched the beginning of this lesson. Send your shekel activity to our rooted email, and you will get five shekels. There will be no rooted lesson video next week because it's integrate service. Please join the live stream church service at 11 a.m. on Sunday with your parents and family members. I pray that you have a happy week with Jesus. Bye-bye.